if we say you are you are very brave doing that, and we we commend you for doing that, is, is that is that the way you want to be perceived as brave, or do you just want to be perceived as you? I just want to be perceived as just me. Yeah. It's Are, just the way God made me, so I just want to be me. Well, you're having to get used to, uh, the way God's made you is a work in progress, isn't it? I mean, because this uh, vitiligo uh, is, is, is spreading, therefore you're becoming whiter and whiter. So I suppose over the years, you've had to adapt your, your whole thought process about how you perceive yourself. Right. Yeah. And how is that? And how have people, how have people reacted to you? Um, some people have accepted it, like my family and friends and, and people that know me. Um, and other people are really rude and, uh, and really mean. So when were you diagnosed and, and how did you feel when you got that diagnosis? Did you know anything about vitiligo? Did you know how bad it might become? Uh, no, I actually didn't know anything about vitiligo at all. Um, when I got di diagnosed with vitiligo, I, when the doc, the, well, when I got to the dermatologist and he told me what it was, he actually showed me on the computer different images of different people who had vitiligo. Mm -hmm. And um, I was devastated. I, uh, I guess the pictures that he showed me, they kind of scared me a little bit. Yeah, and initially when you when you dealt with it, you know, you used concealer. We were talking there that um, you tried to make yourself look more uniform. Then at what stage you, did you decide, no, I'm just going to be me. I'm going to be the way I am. Um, you asked me what age? No, when did you decide? Because, you know, you, we, oh, we were reading about say? you saying you covered uh, yourself up with makeup for years. So what made you stop doing that? Actually, um, it was my fiance. Um, I met this like incredible guy who is absolutely amazing. And when I was home with him, I wouldn't wear makeup at all. And when I would go out into public, I would wear makeup. And he was just like, if you're not gonna wear makeup with me at home, then you don't need to wear it out in the world like for everybody else to see. He was just like, you're beautiful and they, if they don't like it, then that's on them. So what was it and, like uh, the first time, Ayamiko, that you went out without your makeup, without that mask, I suppose, which was giving you confidence? What was it like to, to step out of the door as you? Oh, my God. I was like, um, I was petrified. I'm not going to even lie. I was like uh, so nervous and... Um, all kinds of thoughts in my head. I watched like everybody's reaction when I walked in like, cause the first time I went out without makeup, I actually went to a grocery store. So, you know, there's lots of people at grocery stores. So um, I like literally watched everybody's faces and my uh, fiance, he, he grabbed my hand and he was just like, relax. Not that many people are paying attention to you the way you think and uh, I just couldn't know. I just kept looking and and to see their reactions and until I like made it out the door. Yeah, and then when you make it out the door, you've got the people who matter to you most, like your fiance Philip, uh, who every time you mention his name, you light up. He's <laughs> obviously a great source of strength and comfort to you. Uh, and then mm -hmm. your children, your four children as well. Um, is this vitiligo? Was this passed on? Do any of them have it? No, no, not one of them have it at all. Yeah, and what is their reaction to mum? How supportive have, have they been, or how can they help you? Oh, they, they love, they just love me so much. Um, I don't even really think they see it when they, when they look at me. I think that they, uh, they just see that I'm their mom, and they don't really, mention anything about my vitiligo at all. Yeah. Like, and I can see why that up. is. I can see that why that is because the longer we talk to you, the more your personality is the most strong thing about you. That's what, that's oh. what you notice. That's what comes oh. through most of all. And that lovely smile that you have. Thank you so much. You guys are so and sweet. I, I know you were inspired by, by the supermodel Winnie Harlow, who also has vitiligo. And you're now a model yourself, aren't you? So you're, you're inspiring other people now. 
Yes, I mean, that is the point. You know, I want them to live a free life. I want them to feel comfortable in their own skin. Um, a lot of people say, you know, they want to feel normal. I mean, they are normal. Well, listen, thank you for, for sharing that with us, and you are an inspiration. We've got to go and get our weather forecast, which I'm sure won't be as nice as yours. I'm Miko, thank you.